Hey everyone, it's Dr. Elizabeth. Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. So I was so inspired to talk to you guys today. I'm in the middle of organizing my channel, putting all my videos together so you can find them more easily, just getting myself organized. And I was so inspired to share this with you. So I stopped what I was doing, put everything else aside and said, I need to talk to them today. So here's what I was so inspired to share with you guys. Um, one of the videos I'm sharing is my demo reel, which has um, lots of the different talks that I've you know been invited to and one thing that I'm so excited about I really haven't shared this very much um, because it hasn't come out yet I was invited to participate in a documentary film it's called your second 50 rising above the fears of aging and they interviewed about 120 people um, teachers from around the world and you know, I'm pretty new even though I'm 56 years young in this particular field I'm kind of the new kid and when they interviewed me they're like yeah kid we're interviewing some you know really big names big names <laughs> So, you know, don't get your hopes up. And I just shared from my heart, really, what it was that I wanted to share about how you can remain eternally radiant, beautiful, youthful, and sexy, no matter what your age. And so um, the reason I'm sharing that with you is because I, um, I received... Uh, so basically, after they interviewed everybody and put the film together, they picked 44 people, and um, I was one of the 44, which I'm so honored uh, to be a part of that because some of the people in the film are people that I really love and respect Dr. Bruce Lipton being one of them I love his work and I love what he's about and my dear friend Dr. John B. Martini is in it and a lot of other people and so it's uh, really exciting to be um, to be able to share what I have to share um, in this film so the reason I'm telling you this is because I got a sneak peek <laughs> footage from the film, the film director who is amazing. He's so beautiful. Laurent Goldstein. He's amazing. And so um, I flew up to the movie premiere, which was in Vancouver. And it was beautiful. It was really lovely. Some of the other people who are featured in the film were there. I got to spend time with the filmmakers, Laurent and Fred Goldstein, Jennifer Ulrich, and Frank Moffat. Just beautiful and of course we went to all the yummy raw food juices and you know restaurants and got to tootle around town a little bit it was really a lovely experience and Laurent and his sweetheart are really beautiful give them give them both a shout out and so I got to spend some time with them as well and um but the reason that I'm telling you guys this is because uh, I asked if, the movie hasn't come out yet, but I asked them if I could have uh, the footage, my portion of the footage, and they said yes for my dem demo reel. So I have it squished in with my demo reel, but I thought, you know what, I'm going to put this in a separate place uh, for you guys so you can just have access, kind of like a sneak peek, to what I share in the film. It's, it's short, but it's really lovely. And what I want to share with you about that and what I share in the film is that it starts with the way you think and the choices. You know, it's no accident that the very first chapter in my book, Skinny Dipping in the Fountain of Youth, is choice. Choices, you know, if we don't choose in, if we don't opt in, or if we don't even leave open to the possibility of choosing in, there is nothing the universe can do to help move us forward because we have free will. So uh, choice is so powerful. And so I wanted to just share that with you and just ask you guys, where are you choosing it for your life and how are you choosing it? And what I love to say is small changes, just tiny little changes equal miraculous results. I did a snap about that. Oh, and if you guys are not on Snapchat yet, get on Snapchat. I'm going to put my, right down there, right there, I'm going to put my username. It's Dr. Elizabeth Live so that we can be connected that way. And um, every morning at 4.44 a.m. on my way to the gym, I do an intention of the day because, one, it's really fun to do and everybody's into it now and now I have some. <laughs> And once or twice a week, I invite other people to be the guests for um, Intention of the Day. And it's really sweet. And people give me their suggestions. They tell me what they're doing. And it's just, it's a really, it's become this really beautiful community building thing that we do once a day. The reason I love to do it is because intentionality is so powerful. If we intend 
something for our day. It's like saying, I intend for joy. Joy comes in then. I intend for productivity. I intend for love. Well, what are we intending? And of course, we can intend a lot of things, but I like to pick one thing and focus on that. And in fact, today, the intention of the day, you guys can just take this in if you'd like, is grace. And I've had this beautiful, grace-filled day. So it's very powerful, and it really works. <sighs> so I shared a lot already. I was really, I was really wanting to talk to you guys and, and share some of these things. So let me go back for a second to choice. So I want to ask you guys, what are you choosing at every moment? I always say, at every moment, quantum physics teaches us at every moment, like this, this moment right here and this moment right here. We have a choice. What are we choosing? And it's like we're at zero point, that point right there, infinite possibility for our lives. So when we recognize that, when we realize that, we can make very empowered choices for our lives. And those choices take our life in a direction. And when we're intentional about it, they take our, because we're going in, we're going in one direction or another anyway. We might as well be intentional about it and go in the direction that we're intending for our lives. And then, you know, we open up and allow miracles to happen along the way. And um, what was I going to share about that? Because they do when we open up. I always say, because a lot of times people, you know, and I tell a story, you'll see in, in the, the little sneak preview that I have for the film, I tell a story from my own personal life about how I was a no on a dream that I had. It was like, nope. And you see, spirit can't get in. If, if it's a no, spirit can't get in. And what I tell my clients and what I tell my friends is if we can just, we don't even have to say yes. So if there's something that your heart's been kind of longing and, and drawing you towards, but it feels a little scary, it feels big, it feels like, oh my God, that's a lot for me. What I always say is you don't have to say yes. Just be willing to be open to the possibility of saying yes, where you had previously said no. Can you see the difference? It's like, no, I can't get in there. Can you get in there? <laughs> Nothing's getting in that. But if you can be willing, can you see, to be open to the possibility of saying yes in that opening that's where the universe spirit god whatever you want to call it can come in that's where the magic and miracles happen so i think that's i think that's it um share more more to come but i just wanted to i want to make this video too long but i just wanted to introduce the film again the film is called your second 50 rising above the fears of aging and again even just that title you know so many people i hear you know i'm a dancer and i dance with girls who are young enough to be my daughter they're you know they're um they're half my age and my dance partners that i dance with are half my age and i hear them they're in their 20s and 30s and i hear them say oh i'm getting old and i say no no so it's a choice what are you going to tell yourself about you about your life about your dreams about what it is you want to manifest and create and when we can change the story of what we're telling ourselves from no or it's not or i can't to what if i can just be open to the possibility and then allow the magic and miracle of the universe and spirit to come in and help us and set the intention we really truly can create the life of our dreams so give me your pinky pinky swear we're gonna pinky swear on that okay and um enjoy the little snippets from the film i'll let you guys know when it's coming out it should be very soon when the whole film comes out we're gonna do a tour we're gonna do um i'm gonna incorporate it with my book tour and i'll let you guys know which cities we'll be coming to and when and all of that in the meantime here's just a little sneak peek of the upcoming documentary film your second 50 rising above the fears of aging When we're open, we make ourselves open to the infinite miracles of the universe. It's like all you have to do is open the door 
this wide and spirit will shoom, just rush in and give you everything. But if you're a no, like if you're a mm, nope, then there's no way spirit can get in. I, I had visions of being a dancer my whole life and I went the path of becoming a doctor. So it just, I literally, by the time I was in my 30s, these visions, I could see me dancing and like kind of dancing with the stars being flown in the air and all these beautiful things. And I was like, well, it just, I was a no, basically. I was like, next, I used to say to myself and to other people, oh, next lifetime, I'll, you know, next lifetime, I'll come back and be a dancer. A clairvoyant, I, a friend of mine took me to see a clairvoyant, was one of her best friends. She said, you're a dancer. I'm like, no, no, next lifetime. And she looked at me, and in that moment, something in me opened up enough to hear what she was holding, this vision she was holding of my possibility of what was possible for my life. And I said, wow, maybe I could be a dancer. All I did was just open that door this much. Quantum physics teaches us at every moment we're at zero point, infinite possibility for our lives. So let's say someone comes home from work. In that moment, right there, they have a choice. What am I gonna nourish my body with? What am I gonna nourish my heart with? What am I gonna nourish my mind with? What am I gonna nourish my soul and my spirit with? So in that moment, they can either pop something into a microwave, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> you don't do it that's not going to nourish your body sit in front of the television and let it watch you with pharmaceutical commercials coming at you telling you how sick you're going to get it's nonsense at that very same moment you can get out a fabulous blender put in some living food some some rich fruits and vegetables and whatever it is that you want to nourish your body you put that into your body the cells i promise you the cells of your body will start to tingle put that into your body you're not going to want to sit down you're going to go it's a beautiful day out today it's a beautiful night out let's go for a swim let's go for a bike ride let's go for a walk and if you're by yourself in your life at this particular time you say to yourself okay i'm gonna go for a walk you never know who you're gonna meet right if you're sitting in front of the tv who are you gonna meet you go out and you enjoy yourself you go dancing to see what kind of adventure can come up so it's just in that moment you have a choice <music>
I might be asking you guys to do the intention of the day with me. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook and Snapchat is all Dr. Elizabeth Live. I'll put it right there. And obviously, again, as you know, my YouTube channel is Dr. Elizabeth Lambert. Until next time, I love you guys and happy skinny dipping in the fountain of youth. Yes. Enjoy.